fixing the money thing. We're talking about money mysteries from the master, time-honored teachings, truths that Jesus gave us about money, finances, right in the Bible, right in the parables. Gary, you're talking about strategies about mm -hmm. David and Goliath. Yeah. I was wondering, you know, in your book, you say, when he was alone, the 12 and the others around him asked Jesus about the parables, and he told them, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you, but to those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing, but never perceiving and ever hearing hearing, but never understanding. So uh, these are hidden. These are secrets. Mm -hmm. And in the, the book, you're talking about these secrets and unveiling them, sharing them. How do the secrets have connection to strategy? Well, they're, they're hidden from the enemy and evil men that would take those strategies and use them against God. Mm -hmm. So, but they are revealed to the, the believer. The believer has access uh, because we have the Holy Spirit in us. They're not secrets to us. We have access to all of those mysteries. So they're not to be hidden from us. They're we're not to, we're be to get from those us. strategies. Jesus just spoke in parables so that those that did not have God's agenda, his, his purpose mm -hmm. at heart, wouldn't pick up on what he was saying. But those that had ears to hear, the Bible says, would hear. Those that had a heart for God by the Spirit of God would have revelation of what the parable meant. And many times the disciples didn't get it either. And they would ask, Jesus, what, is the, what did this mean? And Jesus would have to explain the mystery behind the parable. Now, you mentioned the parable. Of course, we were talking about David and Goliath, which isn't a parable, but the New Testament stories all have mysteries in them. They're full of mysteries. And you asked earlier, how do we hear these mysteries? Well, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And we can hear by the Spirit of God these, these mysteries, revelation. Um, we can go in greater detail about that here in just a minute. But so we, we're to unlock the strategies. They're there for us to understand. We're not to be in the dark. We've got to unlock them. There's a key. There's keys. You give the keys to unlocking those. You have the keys. And getting the strategy. So how did David know that strategy when he was going up against, against Goliath? Well, I believe it was a Holy Spirit strategy that God just down, you know, gave him at that moment. And David had already been anointed king, if you remember, before this event. The, the prophet had already anointed him. Uh, as king. So he, he already had that anointing from the, the office of the, of the king. He wasn't put in that place yet, but he had already been anointed in a previous chapter as king and then finds himself in this situation. So I believe the Holy Spirit downloaded, you know, that, that concept to him and he took it. And I believe God does the same thing for us. Right. We're anointed as his prophets, priests, and kings Absolutely. into our God. We have the Holy Spirit so in So we us. have that Holy yeah. Spirit. We have that anointing. Those mysteries are there for us to find. Just yep. as Jesus said, they're hidden for their secrets. They're, he's yep. speaking in parables, but he's wanting us to get these secrets. Oh, they're, for, they're ours. And you are. That's what's in here. The Bible says he's going to give us the keys of the kingdom. We have the kingdom. We have the kingdom. We're citizens. The Holy Spirit's in us. We can understand these things as well as receive these unique strategies and timing. For instance, for instance, in our life, you know, being desperately in debt for nine years, and then uh, God says, you need to learn how the kingdom operates. Mm -hmm. And we, so like everyone else, what does that mean? <laughs> but God gave us, uh, gave me a dream to start a company. And in that dream to start a company, out of that dream came the company that actually set us free financially. And others, right. And many others, yes. But to pick up on the mystery of the strategy is by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. To pick up on the timing is by the Holy Spirit. And too many people stop at, I want to accomplish this. Like you started the program talking about they want the car. They mm -hmm. see the fruit. They see the car. They see the results. They want the results. And there's nothing wrong with wanting the promise. But you've got to have the strategy to get to that promise. Right. Let's, let's mention another story in the Bible that we can look at. Um, Peter had taxes to pay. He didn't have taxes, uh, the money at the time. The temple tax, uh, this is in their hometown, Jesus and the disciples in Nazareth. And it says uh, Peter came to Jesus and asked him about that. And then Jesus gave him very specific direction. And it says in chapter 17 of Matthew, Jesus tells Peter, so that we may not offend them, go to the lake and throw out your line Take the first fish you catch, open its mouth, and you'll find a four drachma coin. Take it and give it to them for my tax and yours. That's very specific. And the timing is very specific. Mm -hmm. So go to the lake. That's the location. 
the method is a line. Now, Peter's a fisherman, but he usually fishes with nets. This time it's a line, one fish, not a net full, not a boat full. The first one fish, fish the first fish, <laughs> that's a timing issue as well, the first fish, and you'll find that coin. All right, you couldn't see the coin. Mm. It's a unique strategy that paid the taxes. I always say anybody can catch fish if you know the plan. If right. Jesus tells right. you the fish right. are there, use this lure, you know, right here, you're yes. going to catch, catch fish. Yes, and in your chapter where you say the mystery is not a mystery, you say, Mark 4 says, for whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Absolutely. So Jesus kept saying, seek, seek. They're hidden there. It's like God saying, come on, come on. It's like going on a scavenger hunt. Come on, I want you to get this mystery. I want you to find right, it. Right. It's meant to be disclosed to you, but too many believers are kind of on the fence like, does God even want to bless me? Because oh, yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. even for me? And so when we recognize what God says, the covenant, like David recognized he had Absolutely. the covenant, then he's able to go up against Goliath. He takes the spoils of the battle. He walks away with all of those promises that God gave to him. Yes. Anyone that would go up, the king gave to him, right? right. So I look at it like David was given these, these, these promises from the king. We're given all these promises from the king. Absolutely. We have this right. Uh, so if the Holy Spirit is in you, the Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? And the Holy Spirit in you, as the book of John says, when Jesus left the earth, he told his disciples, I'll not leave you as orphans. I'm going to send the counselor, the Holy Spirit, to be with you, to help you in life. If the Holy Spirit is in you, the Holy Spirit knows where the fish is at with the coin in its mouth. The Holy Spirit knows your ability. In other words, he told Peter, who is a fisherman, to go catch a fish. Peter obviously knew how to catch fish. God made you unique. He made you with gifts, giftings and talents. He knows how to direct your steps to a unique strategy that catches the enemy off guard and you catch, the, the, you win the battle, you capture the opportunity and you create wealth. And that is, that's our story and that's yes. how it is made. Business is simply fixing a problem. Fixing the money thing by fixing the problem, yeah, right? It's, it's simply yes. business is solving someone's problem. That's all it is. But you have to have the answer. Right. All right, so the answer is a strategy, and God will help you see that. And operating in a niche market, you know, I'm going to be here. I'm going to fish, not do everything else. I'm going to do what Jesus said. I'm going to fish. I'm going to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit, and God's going to build on that. And that's how we got out of debt, is just hearing those things by the Spirit right. of God, strategies and timing, and understanding how it works. Yes, because God is interested in blessing and profiting His people. Absolutely. He wants them to be blessed. He wants yes, them to he profit. Does. Today, you can prosper according to the Word of God. He'll give you provision to fix your money thing. There's strategies. There's mysteries in the Word of God. They're hidden for you. God wants to disclose them to you. They're hidden from the world, but they're supposed to be revealed to you. You are one idea away from your future. And it has to be a unique strategy that is designed for you, and the timing has to be right, but you don't have to be nervous about it. The Holy Spirit in you has that strategy. Yes. But that's just one principle in the book. There's other mysteries that also apply to your life. So this is a great book to use as a resource. You can go to GaryCassie.com. A lot of great stuff that will help mentor you in the kingdom and how it operates, how to prosper. And I also invite you to join Drenda and I and join Team Revolution as we take the message of the kingdom around the world together and helping people understand that they can win. Everyone wins in the kingdom. And so we thank you for joining us today on Fixing the Money Thing. We'll see you right here next time. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.